Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello and welcome friends my name is Mithilesh Kumar Dhar I am your course instructor for the course Introduction to Political Theory. I welcome you in this first live session. And uh, those of you who have joined, I request you to put your question or comments. Or if you have any feedback about the course or the topic, assignments, on the chat box section. And I'll be happy to respond to those queries, comments, and feedback. I hope you uh, you are enjoying this uh, course, learning about new thinkers, uh, teams, and uh, submitting your assignment regularly. So in this live session, I would um, request you, hi Aman. In this live session, what I'm going to do is to first address some of the queries on the discussion forum. And um, uh, these queries are, hi, Bubbly. Uh, these queries are uh, general in nature, and I hope many of you may have similar concern. So I'll try to address them. I'll also uh, talk about examination and the question uh, paper or the nature of questions. So uh, let me begin by, you know, and then there are some uh, queries on the discussion forum which I would like to uh, address here. Yeah, so Bubbly is saying that sir, week teen assignment nahi ho pa hai. All right, so uh, Bubbly, you know, um, uh, the way we prepare assignment is from the um, uh, videos or the PPT which is there on the course portal. So if you watch the video, I hope uh, submitting the assignment would not be a problem. So <clears throat> you can um, watch the uh, uh, video uh, for uh, week three. And um, uh, if uh, concepts or things are not clear, you can use the discussion forum to read your question uh, or your comments and we'll be happy to respond to uh, any queries or if you need any further explanation, we'll do it there. You can also use, and this is the question about say lecture notes or PDF of uh, the lectures. And I agree that many of you may feel that, you know, preparing the notes or reading from the notes would be a very good uh, we who prepare for the exam or prepare for the topics covered in this course. What I would suggest is that the whole uh, uh, lectures, I mean all the lectures of this course are compiled into a PDF format. So if you go to the course portal, on the left hand side, there is the PDF or PDF in English and also in a book format all the lectures of the course are uploaded uh, uploaded there. So you can download and read from the lecture notes. So many of you have queries about this lecture notes and the um, you know, PDF of the lectures. So uh, learning from video and watching the video uh, may be a um, um, difficult task for some of you, but uh, yes, well, that is what I'm saying that these uh, lectures in the PDF format is available on the course portal. So you can download it from there, from the left hand side corner. If you have any problem in accessing them, use the discussion forum. Uh, you will get uh, immediate response about how to access them. And also navigate the course portal to know a little more about what is in this course and what are the announcement, how to navigate uh, the videos, uh, and also the PDF notes and so on. <clears throat> so 
this combination of uh, you know uh, the lecture notes and video should be sufficient to submit your assignment and also for the purpose of exam and this is also point i would like to uh, remind that those of you who have enrolled for this course should also register for final examination so to get a certificate you need to register and for that you have to pay uh, some amount and sooner you do it better it would be to avoid lost hours glitches or any problem that you may encounter so uh, do the registration as early as you can and um, uh, submit the assignment uh, weekly if possible in advance so that you know the last hour submission would not create a problem so uh, if you do this lecture note and video that should be sufficient both for the exam and also for the weekly assignments so nothing in the final exam or also in the assignment comes outside the lecture notes or outside the videos so everything is there i hope the ppt of all the lectures would be also uploaded soon on the course portal that would be an additional uh, uh, study material for you so besides these three uh, three uh, things that is video lecture pdf of the lecture and the ppt of each lecture should be more than sufficient for the requirement of this course but obviously some of you would like to know a little more about uh, a particular thinkers or a particular theme in that case in each of the lecture if you have seen the last part of the ppt or the last part of the video give you the reference list that means for additional information or to know a little more about the themes and the thinkers you should uh, refer to those text which would be in addition to what is already there so uh, uh, that is about uh, the course material still if you encounter any uh, uh, problem any challenge you let us know and i would encourage you to use discussion forum for the clarification of any doubts or any uh, feedback which you may have we would be happy to hear from you and also submit your weekly uh, feedback so that we can improve the course uh, further all right so there is a question on chat box about can it help in upsc optional well i think some of the topics of this course would help you there also uh, certainly but uh, i don't know exactly uh, whether in its entirety Uh, the topics which we have covered would help you there or not, but uh, uh, some of the topics would certainly help you to prepare for uh, that competitive exam also. Okay, Babli is asking that lecture notes are uh, not available. She is not able to find the lecture notes. Babli, if you log in to the course portal, then there are weekly uh, you know uh, lectures or assignments drop down there at the bottom you will find the book notes however if there is some technical glitch i'll talk to the uh, to the tees and the technical team here to ensure that you should have access to uh, to uh, the lecture notes or the pdf of all the lectures as they have said However, this is there on the uh, course portal. So I'll uh, uh, ensure that soon you all have access to these PDF notes for the PPTs of each lecture. Don't worry about it. All right. So other thing is about the exam. or uh, nature of exam or the question paper so exam is okay um before that there is comment about uh, the language of the video 
maybe i'll agree uh, to some of you about uh, difficulties in language and also the duration of the lecture so we are working on it but uh, i don't think that uh, this difficulty in language is uh, do you mean to say there are too many technical conceptual term without proper explanation or there are you know um, uh, difficulties in terms of you know pronunciation or in what ways you consider the language difficult if you can um, uh, clarify we will try to work on that as well okay so uh, now uh, about exam or the uh, nature of question paper during the exam uh, i have said that uh, the final exam would be of uh, mcq type that you will have objective questions and there would be a multiple choice questions so you will have choices and you have to select the correct choice and uh, in this question paper there would be only one correct answer so go to the most correct answer which you think uh, is correct uh, answer to the question okay babli is saying that assignment questions are too long and language is too hard i am unable to solve the assignment i note this point babli we will try to make it as simple as we can but you know uh, the yardstick we have followed even in the uh, lectures or in the assignments is that uh, uh, language is accessible if you know english so the medium of the course is english so we cannot we are in the process of translating some of the st uh, study materials in indian languages also including hindi and other languages but um, for the purpose of pedagogy we uh, follow uh, english i have uh, been trying to uh, explain the concepts ideas methods or approaches to political theory so far as possible in easy and accessible language but still if you find it difficult we will try to uh, we will try to make it more easier we'll give you maybe uh, some explanation and uh, if you can uh, you know also uh, give us uh, in your weekly feedback about you know some topics some concepts where you think you know a little more explanation is required during this live session which we are going to have one or two more in this semester i would explain that and also the discussion forum i will try to explain these those concepts or ideas which requires further explanation uh, language i have noted down uh, we will try to you know even in the assignment or in the final exam paper uh, make it as easy and accessible as possible yes <clears throat> so the exam um, uh, and the nature of question paper exam would be for 3 hours and for 100 marks however there are certain um, uh, distribution of uh, uh, final exam marks or its weightage and also the marks or weightage of the weekly assignments Uh, that's a very good question and let me explain it so uh, you know first if you have just enrolled and not registered for the exam i would request you to first uh, do the registration as early as you can uh, the date of exam is april 23rd in two session morning 9 to 12 and in the evening 2 to 5 pm so 3 hour duration for 100 marks but you know there are uh, weightage as i have said and to pass this exam you have to have certain percentage in your uh, assignment 
and also from the final exam paper. So if you pass just this um, final exam paper and many of you may feel that you know submitting the assignment is not required or not mandatory, please don't do that. You do submit the weekly assignment. Even if you have missed one or two assignment, I will request you to submit uh, the weekly assignments regularly. So for 12 weeks, you are going to submit 12 assignments. Even if you have missed first one or two assignment, you should start submitting the assignment regularly because in the final weightage or in the final calculation, we are going to, uh, um, uh, uh, to select the best eight assignment that you have submitted. So the weightage for assignment is 25% out of your eight best assignment out of 12. So, uh, so you submit all the assignments, best it would be calculated for the final grading and it would carry 25% with this point. The final exam paper would be um, of 100, the weight is for that is 75%. So the final score would be the average assignment score plus exam score. So um, to, to uh, you know, uh, pass this uh, uh, course or earn a certificate, you must uh, get at least 10 marks out of 25 from the assignments and 30 out of 75 from the final exam. So you need to have this minimum requirement both from the assignment and also from the question paper to earn a certificate. So in other words, you need to have at least 40 marks out of 100 to get a certificate. And then further on, depending upon your, uh, your grade, you will get the silver, elite and gold kind of certificate. All right, I hope that answered the question about the assignment and other things. All right, so Bubbly is asking in MCQ question, if I choose one wrong and one right option, then I gain number or not. So probably as I have said that in this uh, format, um, the one I follow in this course would have only one correct answer. So there is no question of one. So if you are, for example, uh, there is no possibility of selecting more than one correct answer because for each question you can select only one correct answer. But suppose if you have that option in the software to select more than one, which I dot uh, the marks will be zero you will not get so for all the questions in this um, course in the final exam there would be only one correct answer so there is no question of more than one correct answer and then subdividing the weights of different uh, uh, correct answer to a particular question all right so I've told you about this exam registration. I hope you can do it. You should do it earlier, the better. And assignments, please ensure that you uh, you uh, submit the assignment regularly. Even if you have missed one or two, uh, please from now on submit the assignments for every every uh, every week. All right. Oh, there is no uh, negative marking. Uh, yes, Bubbly is right. For uh, this course or in NPTEL, there is no negative marking per se. Okay, now I would like to tell you about uh, a bit uh, the nature of final uh, uh, final exam paper. So basically, there would be three section or three part of the questions. One part would be a kind of uh, test of your memory or ability to recall. For example, uh, the question would be simple and if you have watched the video and studied the lecture notes or PPT, you should be able to select the correct answer without much you know, uh, uh, analysis, without much uh, thinking. 
so on the basis of your memory or ability to recall you should be able to select the correct answer for first segment of the question paper then in the second segment you will have a set of questions directly from your assignment so if you are submitting your assignments regularly then in the final exam also you will have certain questions directly from the assignment so doing assignment weekly will also enable you to write correct answer at least for a number of questions in the final exam as well then there would be a majority of questions that would test your comprehension or understanding of topics or thinkers where more than uh, your uh, understanding and the uh, ability to analyze and uh, correlate or compare would allow you to answer those questions so in other words these are the three three uh, segments of the final exam question paper watching the video as i have said reading the lecture notes and uh, the ppt would be sufficient to do well in both weekly assignment or um, or um, also in the final exam all right so some of you are asking about uh, registration process it is still uh, it is already started the last date for and for that you should actually regularly check your uh, course portal for the announcement so uh, you check the announcement on december 21st for example there it is mentioned that till march 14 you can do the registration for paying 1000 uh, rupees and between march to 18 you can do the registration for uh, after paying 1500 uh, there are uh, 50% fee waiver for students belonging to sc st categories and uh, you know um, 40% uh, disability pwd category students they are also entitled to 50% fee waivers so you should check the check the uh, uh, regular announcement on the course portal to know a little more <coughs> ketan is asking very good point uh, ketan can the subtitles be in hindi also i uh, i have noted it down but let us see if you know if it can be done because uh, we are in the process of you know so when you watch the uh, video you should have the option to 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 uh, choose the subtitle in hindi or any other indian languages also but it is going to take time i am not sure if we can do it this semester but certainly it's a very good point and i have noted it on let's see okay some of you have registered for the exam so that's good but those of you who have not done i will encourage you to do it as early as you can all right friends so if you have any more questions you can use the chat box let me answer some of the questions which i find is you know very uh, critical so n kadin asked about uh, uh, what are the methods of uh, political theory so um, if you have seen on the uh, uh, video related to um, that i have discussed say um, the changing uh, uh, focus or uh, new development in contemporary political theory so broadly speaking you can um, you can think about three kinds of theory one is normative second is explanatory and the third is contemplative now to uh, have a uh, 
All right, probably I noted your point about making the language easy, uh, both in video and also on the, uh, for the assignment and uh, question. I'll uh, I'll ensure that I'll take care of that. But the video is already recorded, so I don't know. Uh, what I would suggest you that you um, tell us on the discussion forum which video you think or it's uh, the case. So when you say um, uh, difficulty in language, what do you exactly mean? Is it the English or it is the way concept is explained? So if you can identify a particular video or a particular time period, we'll try to put additional material or maybe some explanation during the live session or on the discussion forum for that particular lecture. But these videos you know have been already recorded. For the next semester, for the next time we may edit it or we'll try to make it easier. But let us know which lecture, which part you want us to explain. All right. So uh, coming back to the question of political theory or methods and approaches to political theory, Roughly speaking, there are two, three uh, ways we look at uh, theory. And in contemporary time, I think I have discussed with you that the task of political theory is not just providing a kind of, you know, contemplative or speculative uh, reflection on the world. It has to actually um, um, uh, reach to the context, to the particularities, but must have the ability to go beyond that particular particularities as well. So the way we do political theory in contemporary times is mostly both historical and also, you know, um, um, uh, comparative. We compare different contexts and also try to historicize it. And that way we develop theory in contemporary times. And many of you are familiar about say intellectual history or conceptual history in this regard. However, in the uh, lecture I have discussed, I, uh, if you want further clarification, you can write, uh, write your question here, but also on the discussion forum that say, for example, Skinner and others talk about when we do theory or when we build up theory, we talk about, say, the motives, objectives or intentions of the author or the agents involved in the political, uh, political action. So one of the way to develop theory is to look at the intentions, objectives or motives of the theory besides his or her context. The other kind of approach is of that of C.B. Macpherson. For example, when he talks about the, um, you know, uh, 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 Thomas Hobbes and his idea of Leviathan and his views on uh, human nature, how human behave. So C.B. Macpherson understand it by contextualizing Hobbes and his understanding of man in a capitalist bourgeoisie society. So the theory of possessive individualism, for example. So the kind of theory that C.B. Macpherson talks about is to, uh, to uh, take recourse to the historical context. And the, that historical context provides you better understanding, better uh, explanation of a particular thinker and thought. Now, the third approach to uh, political theory is more a kind of a hermeneutic, interpretative th um, uh, approach, largely inspired by, say, uh, you know, Gadamer, truth and method. So we text, we do thinker, and we do it in contemporary times. So we read a particular text or a particular thinker through the lens of present through the contemporary lens. So, uh, you know, what matters and why certain text, certain ideas, certain thinkers matter in 21st century. 
we will determine it by looking at them by understanding them from the needs from the perspectives of the present so the contemporary lens and through them we can develop a better understanding of a text or a theme then in the recent um, uh, years there are increasing focus on conceptual and intellectual history where they talk about say temporalities the time and space in a given time can provide you a better window in the minds of a particular thinker and his or her text so these are basically approaches to understand a text uh, or a political um, uh, text or the thinker and their ideas now uh, kadin i'm not sure if you mean by uh, the method of political theory these approaches or you are talking about say different kinds of political theory normative explanatory or contemplative so if you have further question you are welcome to ask on the discussion forum we will be happy to respond we have two more question from tariq hamid i'm not sure if tariq is with us but i would like to respond about the difference in political theory about uh, freedom and uh, uh, liberty so this is a very good uh, question however i in the lecture have not gone in very much detail about the uh, conceptual or analytical difference between uh, liberty and freedom but one way of uh, understanding this difference is between say i have discussed with you say negative and positive liberty for example or see um, uh, uh, different conceptualization of uh, liberty right so um, um, to uh, first give you a sense of what liberty and freedom means is uh, you think of liberty as a kind of understanding which talks about individual autonomy from external interference in a sense a cyberly negative conception or maybe libertarian argument about liberty that liberty is that sphere of life where i am free from any external interference and revelation so it is understood as some kind of you know individualistic or individuals autonomy from others so to the extent i am free from external uh, interference i am free this kind of understanding of liberty is a broad uh, you know uh, self defining atomistic kind of individual however many thinkers also talk about liberty in a positive sense where the freedom is freedom to do something now there is a kind of experiential aspect to it so for example uh, amart singh when he talks about development as freedom for example or you know um, hana aren or michel foucault that uh, freedom is something which you experience when you participate in the social life associational life with others so freedom is actually to do something to become something right here liberty is mostly about individual choice and autonomy and the sphere of life where individuals should be free from any kind of external control and revelation so it's a kind of license so in political theory there is a kind of conceptual uh, difference between these term liberty and freedom however we uh, you know uh, for the purpose of explaining different conceptions of uh, uh, theory on uh, freedom uh, we have not gone into much detail but certainly there is a kind of analytical distinction between uh, liberty and freedom we can think about liberty more individual centric and the rights and autonomy and the choice that it provides to the individual freedom is something in association about becoming freedom to do something and that's a kind of positive um, interpretation of freedom 
Tariq also asked question on say the difference between political theory and ideology, theory and thought, political and politics, political science and philosophy. These are basic terms, Tariq. I think any uh, good textbook on um, political science, you can refer to say Andrew Haywood, uh, key concepts in politics or introduction to politics will give you this very kind of crisp, clear idea. First or second lecture in this course also talks about this kind of differences. Now, uh, one or two I would certainly like to explain here. Political science, you know, is a kind of systematic study of political phenomena, right? Now, what is political phenomena? What do you mean by politics? Is something which differ from ages to ages. For example, uh, you know, uh, in uh, a kind of compartmentalization of our collective life, we think about religion having one domain, economics having another domain, and politics having the another domain. Now, this kind of uh, 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 categorization of our collective life was the uh, the defining feature of say uh, enlightenment modernity or the industrial society where we you know separate one domain of life from another domain and we think about politics as issues or subjects related to state laws constitution so on and so forth however if you think about politics today with the feminism or environmental politics or demands from LGBT communities and so on and so forth. In fact, every sphere of life, including our say uh, home, uh, when we talk about you know uh, sexual violence and uh, you know uh, domestic violence, these are also very much part of the politics. So, what is political or what is politics is something which is dynamics and differ from time to time. In contemporary time, it seems that you know. Uh, you can certainly talk about politics as something concerning a state where we talk about parties, elections, so on and so forth. But it is also something that deals with our personal life or what we have considered as private life. Considering there is a public political life and there is a private life, that boundary has been somewhat blurred today. And we also talk about politics from the prism of family or what happens within the private space of the household and family. So the subject matters or the understanding of politics and political differs, but political science tries to systematically study them. I'll come to this political theory, thought and philosophy. Philosophy, political philosophy if you like, and Selden Wally, uh, the text which I have referred to, you should read a bit more to understand this wider dynamics, but the political philosophy or political um, uh, philosopher are those who involve in say uh, matters concerning good life and how to lead a good life, how to create a good society, how to create a good quality and then they probe on those questions and basically dealing with what ought to be done, what should be done, right. So they are engaged in higher order question about how society should be governed, what should be the rights, what should be the true uh, form of justice, how to lead a good dignified life and the questions of that nature are dealt by the uh, political philosophers and uh, in political philosophy. So, uh, Western political philosophy or Indian political philosophy or Arabic philosophy or, uh, you know, African uh, tradition of, you know, uh, political philosophy would be having a very distinct approach to the question of life or meaning of life, truth, beauty, quality, justice and so on. Political thought is somewhat narrowed from the political philosophy. It deals with uh, the question of uh, political, for example. So uh, basically, it's a reflection or contemplation by 
few thinkers or analytical reflection of few thinkers in a given tradition and uh, they develop a, a deeper understanding of certain political phenomena for example on the question of uh, you know uh, why should we obey the state or what is the legitimacy of the state uh, is a state a divine right entity or it's a legal entity what are the contracts between the state or the uh, individuals so in the social contract uh, tradition you have thinkers like hobbes locke rousseau who have theorized about certain political phenomena and together they develop a thought about uh, say uh, state or sovereignty theory on the other hand are largely dependent and derive their ideas or concepts from the writings of these thinkers or political philosophers but theory is somewhat more uh, generalistic than thought and the philosophy so uh, in contrast to philosophy or thought in political theory what we try to um, uh, do is to make sense of or explain the particular social political phenomena so what is justice in indian society what does it mean to have a democracy what does it mean to have a constitution what is the basis of legitimacy what is authority how it is different from power and so on um, so what is the nature of justice how we can have fairness or how we can ensure equality of opportunity or equality of status so these conceptual categories allow us or provide us a window to understand a particular society and explain it so the uh, realm of theory or the scope of theory is much bigger and broader than political thought or the philosopher which is you know very individualistic centric or tradition tradition centric thing but in political theory you broaden that scope and go beyond uh, those things all right so uh, these are some of the questions which we have uh, on the discussion forum and i thought i should explain if you have any other question you are welcome to write on the chat box section All right, then I don't think there is any more question. So I'd like to conclude this uh, live session. Uh, if you have any question, you use the discussion forum to raise your points or comments if there are any. Thank you.